Liang Xiaoping, poet, artist, scholar, and calligrapher, brought the essence of Chinese culture over the seas, bridging continents with her work. As a founder of the Australian Oriental Calligraphy Society and the Academy of Chinese Calligraphy, she brought together local artists and expatriates to foster this revered form of Chinese art. She founded a Chinese calligraphy course for Asian studies, as well as a course on Chinese brush art for the College of Fine Arts at the University of New South Wales, bringing a new awareness of Chinese art to tertiary education in Australia. Her major work, Heart Sutra, became the first piece of Chinese calligraphy by a local artist to be collected by the Art Gallery of New South Wales. Clouds and Mountains, an original 12-metre calligraphy work featuring a palindromic poem composed by Liang Xiaoping herself, dominates the atrium of the historical building housing the Sydney Conservatorium of Music. At the Parliament House of New South Wales, her work Rainbow remains as an esteemed exemplar of Eastern calligraphic form. Her work is equally renowned in her homeland of China. Liang Xiaoping's composition, Peon to the Beijing Olympiad, palindromic poems and their expression in Chinese calligraphy, was elected as a gift to the 2008 Chinese Olympic Committee and was presented by the Australian Olympic Committee on behalf of the Australian people. It was then collected as part of the permanent collection of the National Museum of Sport in Beijing. Liang Xiaoping has contributed tirelessly to invigorate this Chinese art form for audiences worldwide. Aside from her calligraphic work, she has also produced and presented radio and television programs, including hosting an SBS calligraphy series. She has continued her work by judging competitions, curating art exhibitions and events, and travelling overseas at the invitation of universities and establishments of fine arts everywhere. In 1996, at Stanford University, she held a solo exhibition and performed an on-site demonstration of a 4-metre artwork, bringing a rare glimpse of Eastern arts to the American Academy. In 1998, at the National Art Gallery of Beijing, China, the Calligraphers Association of China hosted her solo exhibition, Enlightenment, and a symposium on her work. In 2001, at the City Hall in Hong Kong, the Australian Consulate General sponsored an exhibition titled Mutual Appreciation Through Calligraphy, works by Liang Xiaoping and her Australian students. Her students included those of 12 various non-Chinese nationalities, and amongst whom was also the former First Lady of Australia, Anita Keating. In 2004, the Parliament House of New South Wales officiated a tribute to the brush, an exhibition of calligraphy by Liang Xiaoping and her Australian students. It was a celebration of her 40 years as a calligraphic artist. The officiator of the ceremony, Edmund Capon, was the director of the Art Gallery of New South Wales and a world authority on Asian art. The memorable opening was attended by leading members of society from varied fields, including arts and culture, the academy, politics and business. In 2007, the Parliament House of New South Wales commissioned a work titled Rainbow, 
and it was unveiled as the edition of the first Oriental calligraphy collected by both Houses of Parliament. In 2008, the Beijing Olympics added a glorious chapter to the history of China, and it was also a continuation of the acclaimed work of Liang Xiaoping. On the 7th of April, with the congratulatory praise of the Prime Minister of Australia, a handover was made in the Great Hall of the Olympic Committee. Liang Xiaoping and the President of the Australian Olympic Committee, Mr John Coates, presented a remarkable gift to the President of the Chinese Olympic Committee and the Minister for Sports of China, Mr Liu Peng. The gift was the peon to the Beijing Olympiad, palindromic poems and their expression in Chinese calligraphy by Liang Xiaoping. It consisted of two matching couplets etched onto two sides of 16 2 metre high stainless steel prisms and a 14 word palindrome in couplets. It also contained an extensive palindrome of 384 characters within which is hidden the permutation of the I Ching. At the Parliament House of New South Wales in Sydney, the original work of the Beijing Olympic gift by Liang Xiaoping was exhibited alongside the artworks of her students. In 2010, the Sydney Conservatorium of Music and the Confucius Institute of the University of Sydney presented four major cultural events, a symposium on the art of Liang Xiaoping, her philosophy and thoughts, a solar exhibition titled Lineal Rhythm, The Brush of Liang Xiaoping, her demonstration of a 10 meter artwork, Clouds and Mountains, and a series of Chinese calligraphy workshops. In 2011, Clouds and Mountains was designated a permanent place in the Sydney University Conservatorium of Music collection. In 2012 at the City Hall in Hong Kong, the Australian Consulate General lent his support to yet another exhibition presented by Liang Xiaoping, Poetry and Calligraphy, Art and Expression. It was a sensational, unforgettable exhibition of over 300 works based on her poetry and palindromic works.
Liang Xiaoping is spirited and passionate in the pursuit of her ideals, those of peace and harmony in her poetry, of beauty through her art.